Um, okay, so one thing that I've experienced that, I've, um, that I know these gang stalkers have something to do with is feeling very sleepy suddenly. And a lot of targeted people have that happen. And they, you know, I've had people say, you know, they knocked me out. Um, and they haven't really put me to sleep. But, um, one thing that I know that is something that they do is when they go, on broadcast, meaning, all right, they have the mind control headset on. Now they can connect to people and be awake, all right. But then, if they want to live as a broadcast, then they they go on broadcast, okay. And then, excuse me, at that point, um, their physical body is what they call catatonic. It goes into a sleep state, and it has to do with with the broadcast. So when they're living as a broadcast, their physical bodies lay in there in the state that they call catatonic. It's like a subconscious, pretty much a sleep state. And I believe that they broadcast us as well for their EMF videos, for their live streams. And when they do that, it makes us feel sleepy. Now, it's not going to be as severe and put us directly into that catatonic state because we're not wearing the headset like they wear. And it's basically like an amplifier. So, you know, everything is emitted directly into their mind. All right. So when they have that headset on, they, they get every thought that you have perfectly. They can see what you see. Um, they can see from the broadcast if they're living as a broadcast. All of that right into their mind. And it's very clear for them. Um, for us, we don't have that headset on. So it's the same signal coming back and forth. Uh, so when it, when they're connected to us, it's a two-way connection. We're also connected to them. So uh, sometimes you may... Non-consensually, right? Non right, non-consensually. So you can do this, what you're talking about, you can do this like consensually, right? Like I'm picturing, you know more about the broadcast than I do, but basically it's the same idea. The frequencies that the brain and the body and the environment produce. You're saying people have like almost like a virtual reality gaming thing where they go and put on headsets and, 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 and what, glasses and stuff? And so they, what, what do they, yeah, <laughs> what they, they, they can the they <laughs> they put the headset <laughs> on. They can put the headset on and then... Um, you know, the headset has eye covers that I've seen them wear before, and that's pretty much, I don't know if they, it actually emits um, into their visual uh, cortex or not, but it, if you could think about seeing somebody else's view, then you would probably want to cover up your eyes so it didn't get confusing. You don't want to see your view and somebody else's view at the same time. So, um, you know, a lot of people think of, and, and they... Yeah, they could they could connect to each other, not like a split screen. It'd probably be like overlapped, you know. Like I'd be looking at one view and have the other view, and it's just like probably get very confusing. So they probably have to put the covers over their eyes, and they probably shut their eyes so they in their mind they see what we see clearly. Um, you know, they can also connect to each other. Um, it oftentimes becomes sexual. Um, they can feel each other's senses, just the same as they can connect to a targeted person unconsensually. Um, it's just it's just a big part of what they do is wearing that mind control headset and connecting to other people. So they, yeah, that's that is is kind of like a virtual reality, I guess. But um, but it's it's real. It's just broadcast. So right. the broadcast right. exists. Well, so. no, it's real, just like right, Kevin, because they have the broadcast. You know, we have a hospital here in uh, Wisconsin, and they have the virtual night. You know the. And when they do surgery on you, if you have, like, say you got tumors in your brain, okay, they can do surgery with an ultrasound frequency, the sound wave. That's all they're using is a frequency. You're, you, the doctor, the neuroscientist, or the neurosurgeon, excuse me, never even makes a cut into your head. They don't make any incisions. You're in one room with the transducer on your head, and the surgeon is in the other room with his computer and a mouse, and he's aiming that ultrasound equipment, the broadcast, he is broadcasting um into your brain and you can remove tumors like that so That's so it's the same one person's tool is another person's weapon it just depends on how you use it exactly okay? exactly I, I had this debate with a guy one time and he's he's saying show me the schematic of the weaponized satellites and i'm like 
Oh, he said that to you? <laughs> yeah, he said that to me. So I'm like, well, first of all, you know, there, any of this remote neural monitoring, so you're not going to find any official schematic type of information out there. But I, I made the example to him, like, um, you know. Maybe if, he was at the command center, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to get to that next. Oh, this guy was this guy was just a <laughs> gang stalker. But, like, no. Look, I told, I told him if, um, you know, if my truck's not a weapon, all right, but if I run over your ass with my truck, then it's a weapon. Okay, now it's a weaponized truck. So these satellites, they're using broadcast to attack people. So yes, there is weaponized satellites. And that's that's how you have to look at it. Right. Well, you can use the satellite as a tool or a weapon. You can use it to help people, like, you know, do right. brain surgery, do tumor stuff, or you can use it as a, a sexual trafficker can use it and, and, you know, do sexual stuff with it. Or, uh, I mean, you can use it for a lot of things, racketeering, yeah. uh, trafficking, you know, it's, it's a it, it's a big tool for the criminal, for the crime uh, syndicate. Well, and I, and that's one, Go ahead. Huh? I was just saying, it's a tool for them that they're able to use. And I think they're banking on, like a lot of us, they think that the general public is naive uh, to their, to this technology, which a lot of us are, uh, but we need to not be anymore because that's, right. they're using that against us. You know, this, if they can learn it, we can learn it. And why not? It's there. Right. But, and so that, you know. Right. Well, this technology, this neural monitoring technology. Okay. First of all, a few good things. Um, deaf people could hear, blind people could see, um, missing children could be found, um, murderers could be caught. All of these things could be done with neural monitoring. All right. Now, athletes and musicians and politicians and all these uh, millionaire billionaires out there they have their neural monitoring not to mention you know a lot of these crackheads and meth heads they also have neural monitoring so they can do what the heck? a lot of them do so i mean look a lot of these gang stalkers are addicts they're low life meth head type of crackhead people and this is the communities of the the type of people that neural monitoring goes around in that that they become gang stalkers because they're the addicts. Okay, now you have okay. you have more prominent people. Who do you think gives it to them though? Who does you think? Oh, I don't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Well, I mean it, it just it just goes around. If I got it, then I'll give it to all my friends, and they'll give it to all their friends. It's like a STD. Okay, it just it goes around, and everybody gets it. So, um, you know, but. Are you playing herpes? It's virtual herpes? Yeah, yeah, or worse. It's worse than that. It's it's something that's just going around rampantly. So, I mean, but if you think about, like, a lot of the people that have access to this technology, they don't become gang stalkers, and they're not addicts, okay? They're uh, prominent people, successful people, um, athletes, movie stars, politicians, uh, people that, that are very successful with business and they make money. And these type of people are going to use this technology as an advantage. Okay, so just imagine if you could be in a sleep state, meaning okay. sleeping. Picture it, I'm picturing it like you're on a right. beach. You okay. know, you're, okay. you're, you're in a sleep state. You're laying in your bed with a mind control headset on. But while you sleep, yeah. you can be doing business online. Anything that's online anything that doesn't require a physical body you could be doing that as a broadcast oh, as a broadcast oh, right so they so it's like you can be awake 24 7 so that gives you an advantage over anybody that has to sleep eight hours a day that gives you eight hours a day over anybody else that's sleeping so um you know everybody who has neural monitoring isn't a gang stalker and there's definitely a lot of benefits or advantages to having this technology but um, personally, you know, I've seen what it does to people and I wouldn't put one of those mind control headsets on my head because I think that it messes up their mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I just... That's... Did that sound, what did that sound like? Fireworks or something? What's that? Did you, did you hear that in the background? No? I heard something, but I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know either. It's no okay, telling. Well, it's no telling. You know, I, I've had a lot of I've had a lot of situations where I could hear gang stalkers and their broadcasts come through my stuff, uh, especially phone calls. Um, like if you can use if you could use a phone call recording app, then cellular uh, is about the closest thing to this EMF broadcast because it's a microwave and so is the broadcast are microwaves and microwaves will be classified as a wave which. Um, you know, segments are close enough together to be considered micro is just a measurement. And, um, you know, cellular and EMF broadcasts are close enough that 
they can interfere with each other. So if you use a call record app, then sometimes you can record artificial telepathy. Really? Oh, I remember you said that. Okay. And that, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure that I understand. I hope that was not, um, I'm trying to be normal because we're doing like a little thing here. <laughs> that just kind of threw me off a little bit. All right, let me, let's focus. Now could, you're talking about- your gang um, stalkers. <laughs> it, it probably was, I swear. <laughs> here you go. See, this is what I live with. That amongst other things. Amongst yes. Many other things. Yeah, the latest thing, um, I could tell when it got to the height of the- uh, the gang stalking and gang stalking just so people understand um it doesn't mean like a gang like a street gang it means a gang of people because everybody from the power pyramid can be in, in a gang stalker it's because it's organized stalking it's organized it's not just like a street gang because that would be kind of you know to blame it all on them no because there's very high levels of this and then you've got your very low level you know people from different socioeconomic statuses from all across the world all different walks of life Right. Both perps and victims too. Now victims, I think a lot of people think the targeted individuals, the people who are labeled as targets are always like poor or dissidents or, you know, people that can get chosen for these programs, guinea pigs. Um, but sometimes some of the guinea pigs they use, I have uh, money, you know, there, there's like people that are whistleblowers, you know, you got judges, lawyers, uh, you know, athletes, politicians, they get targeted too. And well, anybody, anybody that doesn't have access to this technology is subject to be targeted by somebody that does. If somebody that has access wants to destroy you, then um, that, could de- that could definitely happen. Yeah, and it can be anybody, right? I mean, because... Uh, right, it can be anybody. It can be anybody. You know, with the power pyramid, um, the power hierarchy... Like, are you how are you familiar at all with uh, why this is being done and how it's being done? Are, are two different things, but they're kind of they're obviously related. The um, the why, right? We talked so we talked about the how with the, with the satellite based technology, but the why at the root of a lot of this is for training, research, and development. Is what it is. This technology is is, is a, a form of research. You know, and they're developing this technology more. You know, you get it. So by using it on using it on people and, and recording the data, their you know whatever company or whatever I don't know contract or program who's funding this, I think hires out these perks at the low level. Okay, let's just speak hypothetically. Okay, you got your. I don't want to say too much, but this has to be said. You know, this is because this this is what it is. Okay. And that's why we're here. But okay, so the power pyramid, um, you got your people at the top, right? If you're Christian, you know that that God is at the top, right? Okay, and then you got you have Jesus and the good angels. It's true, okay? Um, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Look on the back of your dollar bill. There's a big old pyramid. Now, uh, underneath Jesus and the good angels is Lucifer, right? Okay, and uh, underneath him are the people that worship him. Now, if you don't believe me, look on the back of your dollar bill, you will see the sign of a pyramid with an eye. Okay, what does that mean? To an average person, it means nothing. Okay, it's a pyramid. To the Luciferian worshiper, that symbolism is very prevalent in their um, society. How Christians will use, you know, if you see a cross, usually you understand that it's for Christian. When you see a pyramid, not that everybody who uses pyramids, whatever, is that's what it's supposed to mean, but that's what they use it for. Okay, so those are that's at the very top. Those are then underneath them, you have like corporations, people with money. And I'm talking big money, not just, you know, store owners or restaurant. You know, we're top, right? We're going from the top of the pyramid down. Just logically thinking, because I think it's important for people to understand this. Um, So underneath those corporations with money, you know, business owners, sports team owners, big money, big money. Underneath those people, then you have secret societies. Like then you have underneath them the government. See, people always think government is the top of the pyramid. No, they're not, because above the government, above the government are secret societies such as, you know, the Luciferian worshiping elite, who, you know, when it comes down to it, that's where the agenda is coming from to do this hive mind, a uh, smart grid to, let's be honest, what's it for? Does it sound fun to have voices transmitted in your head? Is it fun to be stalked? This is a tracking surveillance system. It's for, you know, control, obviously. I can agree. So with yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> control. It's about power and control and and money, power, control. 
Um, the thing that the thing that I disagree with what you're saying is that um, that lower level gang stalkers are employed or um, hired, and so you don't think that like say somebody from the like a rogue you know government not saying okay like say you got your I don't know let's just say a government agent or whatever okay so I'm just using the word agent loosely. And a rogue one, not because you got your good still. Just because it's government doesn't mean that everybody in the government, everybody's not. Most, many are good. I'm not going to say most. Many are good and many are there to make a difference. They also get targeted and hard, you know. Um, but I digress. So, but it's possible that because this technology is expensive, a lot of this equipment, you know, it's just the whole process. It's like, I mean, a, a person that's on drugs and stuff, I'm not trying to be funny, I'm not judging, but a person who is that unorganized in their. <laughs> in their processes and in life hasn't, you know, they would not be able to organize something like this. And to be so far, at least in my case, mine is far reaching. I would agree. I would agree with you if that's really how it was. But let me explain what I know from experience from dealing with these people. Um, you know, and I've dealt with maybe around, I've got a list and it's about around a hundred, uh, gang stalkers. And, um, you know, and, some of them probably are on remote like me, um, you know, and, and just had gang stalkers using their voices as settings. But most of them are actually gang stalkers. And I've caught people with the mind control headsets on before. And from what I understand, these things are. You caught them. Hey, you actually caught your perch with the mind. So I've, <laughs> I've, caught a, I've caught a guy with them and I've seen several other people with them. Uh, from what I understand, they're very cost effective, like like forty bucks for the basic just mm -hmm. ones. I mean, it just it just really depends. I mean, they they've for the got headset. for the headset itself. For the, okay, for the floppier headset. Now that's all they use. That's they don't need anything else. Everything else is broadcast. So if they want to say if they want to say if they want to attack you, okay, all they have to do is put this headset on and broadcast, and then they can attack you with the broadcast. So they don't need any other devices. Already. What's that? Signal to signal from your brain to their brain. No, they're Broadway. they're living as a broadcast, so it could literally be a hologram standing next to you, and they could just jump onto you and cause great pain. Okay, just like that, they could they can attack you with their broadcast. It's really a microwave attack or a direct energy weapon, but it's just uh, in the form of a person that is can and they're living virtually as it so they can just jump on another a human as a broadcast they could jump into the flesh of a human or they could they could do all sorts of things with broadcast so but all they need is the mind control headset now there's there's better ones and and more advanced stuff but it just depends on how serious they are about their their little mind control games so but I, the the lowest basic you know, if you want to participate, you need a mind control headset. I think you could get one for about 40 bucks if you're a gang stalker. And, um, and then out of all of these gang stalkers that I've encountered, and some of them I know personally, and some of them I knew for a long time before I ever became gang stalked. Okay. So of all of these people that, um, that I know that are gang stalkers, most of them aren't anybody special. They're not Masons and they're not, um, you know, a lot of them are like drug people and, and some of them are like kids that I've dealt with. And, you know, they these people aren't getting a paycheck. These people, if they make money doing this, it's because they found their own way to make money doing this. They put put you on remote neural monitoring, then sell your neural monitoring to somebody or do live streams of you and sell the access to that. And, you know, if, um, you know, if like if if they want to if they want to, um, you know, charge people to watch you take a shower or something like that you know that's this is how a gang stalker makes money and there's not somebody at the top that's saying hey go mess with that person and we'll pay you they mess with the people that they have a vendetta against themselves and if they make money doing it if they're addicted enough to gang stalking and mind control and they've made this that their uh their career path then they find their own way to make money so a lot of people talk about the program and from what i've experienced there is no rules and there's no um, oversight and there is no organized program. It's just kind of a free for all. And whoever has access to this technology uses it in the way that the elite people expected them to use it in the first place. But they didn't have to pay them or, or instruct them to do so. They just let them do that. And, and it just happened the way that they knew it would. 
Yeah, right. Okay. So you so we are in agreement that it comes the technology comes from the top down for a, right. for a purpose. Right. right. Well, so another thing like Well, I want to I want to make sure to mention though that people like to say it's government and um okay. The government's not going at the top though, remember. The right. Well, people think that. There's there's the government I'll tell you for one way you can tell the government's not I'm not saying that they're not at the top top. They're in the higher part of the pyramid. But I'll tell you this. Sometimes if you I knew a guy and he his wife had worked for um, she was an attorney. She was an attorney for the government. OK, she was making not enough money to hardly, you know, pay back, you know, pay her bills and pay her, you know, whatever she had to pay. OK, so she went into private care working for a corporation or whatever. She made more money in the private sector than she did in the public government sector. Right. So and that many times that's how it is. So government is is has money and they're high. But there is corporations that make more money that's higher than them. Oh, very much. Can, like, yeah, way, way more, way more so. Um, teams, owners. <laughs> right. Sports I mean, team I owners. I mean, all of these bankers and big corporations, they're really the ones running this thing. OK, the the presidents and the politicians, they're not running things. They're not. You know, people talk about the president, this and the pre The president don't run this thing. So, I mean, me and you know that, but, you know, the only agency that I could say for certain that has something to do with neural monitoring would be NASA. It's because it's satellite technology, and they're the only ones that I know of that actually put satellites into space. So, I mean, you know, but who's funding that? And in every country, I've taught a thousand people around the world. This is happening everywhere. So it's not secluded to one government or even many governments. This is something that's happening globally, and this is something that comes right from the the billionaires that own this technology. Yes, the Luciferian worshiping elite billionaires. Because if they were the good ones, they wouldn't do this. They would see the pain and, and corruption. And, right. you know, because people with this, with this technology, it has caused like a lot of um, trauma, a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of distress, a lot of torture, you know, un, uh, unrest, a civil unrest, you know, world unrest between people. I mean, if somebody's able to log into your brain, and God does what? Talk to you, harass you, come rape you, you know, touch your body, hurt your body, right. you know, and who knows what else they can do. I mean, this is, this is a, that's, that is, um, that is deviant criminal behavior. Right. You know, to, well, can you imagine, that. can you imagine um, if they were to admit that there's uh, technology available to read every thought that you have and to do all of these things and how they would have well, to completely is. rewrite the law, yeah, but I mean, it's going to completely change the world. You know, they're going to have to rewrite all the law books and everything's everything's going to change everywhere. You know, and we don't go in reverse, so it's not like they could just turn off the technology. You know, because too many people have had access to it. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If I don't have my neural monitoring, then who does? Because I know this technology exists. So ultimately, that's the goal. Everybody needs to have their own neural monitoring and choose their own level of involvement uh, to play with your own settings you know, I want to connect to nobody, and uh, that's, you know, that's it. Turn it off, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, Kevin. That's such a, that's that's a good idea. That's a good way to solve it. Um, yeah. The question is, who's giving it out? Like, I know you said, again, that the, you know, the low level, all levels of people in the pyramid have it, like, for respect stuff, or, you know, um, for harassing people, you know, revenge, profit, you know, trafficking, that kind of stuff. But where are they getting it from originally? Well, it's just out there now. It, it, does, it doesn't matter that, it, that once it's out there, it's out there. So, you know, if right. now now they're all now they're all giving it to each other, and one person gets neural monitoring, they give it to twenty more, and then they give it to twenty more, and then it just everybody everybody ends up with it or on it being targeted or or some way. You know, most people are on it and they don't even know it. Okay, so um, we're way ahead of the game, and you especially because. I would have never knew about any of this stuff if they didn't start doing stuff to me and like talking to me. I wasn't seeing broadcasts and hearing crazy stuff. I wouldn't know about it, all of this stuff. So um, for you to even know that something's going on without having the artificial telepathy, um, that puts you way ahead of the game. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thank you. I, I had a <laughs> You too, yeah. And it was from people like you and from people like, you know, Dr. John Hall, his book, Guinea Pigs, wonderful. Um, Dr. You know Robert Duncan, his whole um, you know explanation. He has a book too. I haven't read it yet, but I want to. I want to. I want to read it and I want to summarize it like I did with John Hall's book. Obviously, you have to ask permission. 
but um, he has one called Soul Catcher, and it's about this technology. Because it, I mean, I don't know how far you've gone with it or how much you know too. Um, do you know? Okay, we were talking about how with the brain is control is um, every time you think a thought, feel an emotion, that's a EMF, right? Right. Electromagnetic. Okay. And then the body too. So every time you blink, every time you walk, if you cough, if you, you know whatever you do, it could be the smallest little motion or it could be the big, you know, big motions. That's all. Um, controlled by EMFs. That's how come soldiers, when they go to war and they come back and they have to get a prosthetic leg or something, um, and they get a chip in their brain and it can communicate with their leg and they can move it, right? Okay. Through through thinking, through hive mind, through EMF signal to signal. Um, oh my goodness, what was my whole point of that? <laughs> I'm trying to wrap it up. Okay, so okay, so the brain, the body, and the environment. We know that like through broadcast, TV, internet, radio. Basically everything, tablets, microwaves, that's all can be synced together. So you can sync those three things, the human brain, the body, and the environment. So, well, we might want to say this one for the next time. But there is a way where you can um, sync to the human body and, uh, and, and do some amazing things. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. It's amazing. If we have a part two, we'll... <laughs> We'll talk about that. Okay. Next we, time. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely would like to have you back on. And um, I know you have a channel, and if you want, I could come on your channel as well. But um, so we're, we are about out of time. Do you want to? Do you want to uh, promote your channel? Um. Yes. Yes, I would. Thank you for asking. Let me just look at my notes here. I'm very. Um, I get kind of OCD with my notes because I want to make sure that we covered everything, Kevin. And I think we did. We covered a lot. Um, the B2K and all that the frequencies, the broadcast. You know so much about that broadcast, boy oh boy. I just um, know I just know from experience is uh that's all I know. And this is they, you know, this EMF broadcast stuff is not something you can find information on out there. There's just nothing out there on it. Yeah, right. Well it's it's hard. Channels like yours are very helpful. Um I know you were explaining once about about how to protect yourself from EMF broadcasts, like when you find out you've been, how they use devices to do it, like um, virtual devices, cloning, you know, with your phone. Right. I think you said something about trying to make sure that you root it and all that. Right. I don't know. I'd like to see a video on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I need to take more time to study exactly... Um, you know, but different phones are rooted in different ways, and iPhone would be jailbreak. It's the same thing. And... Um, you know, if they if they're accessing your phone, that's the only way you're really going to be able to find out is to have access to your root file system. And that's what rooting your phone just makes you the admin and gives you access to the root file system. So, you know, of course, you could mess up something digging around in the wrong files and moving stuff around. But at the same time, you're not going to find anything that a, a real hacker's got going on unless you do that. Okay, you have to root it and do it. Yeah, it's right. almost like you have to become a computer expert on this stuff. You do. You have to. You, you have to become a hacker and everything else, and and a coder and all of this if you really want to. But if you become that, it's over a with for gang builder. stalking. Yeah. You, right. Oh, everything, man. You got to be everything there. <laughs> Just to protect yourself nowadays. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you, well, you gotta understand what we're dealing with. So, and that's that's what a lot of the things that they do are right in our face online, and it's very facetious. You know, you could be looking at some kind of stuff about neural monitoring and not even know it. True, true, true. Right. You, you showed it in one of your videos too. If you ever get a chance to re-release that, that was very helpful. It's like you showed a picture. You showed EMF broadcast, which, it, you know, if you can understand, if the audience can understand, it's a satellite broadcast. So it's hard to see, per se, because it's a form of direct energy, right? Like, you can't, we're doing a broadcast right now. I can't see it, but I know it's on because we're, you know, able to, you know, talk here. Um, same thing with the electricity. You know it's running. You know the current's running. You can't see it, but the lights are on, so you know. Um, right. But one thing you did was show the pictures of the EMF broadcast. You had caught it, and you broke it down. You, like, showed it how it almost looks like a... Like one of those pictures where it's like a thousand, it's like one image, but it's like a thousand different pictures that make up that one image. It looked like that. Right. That was, yeah, that was really interesting. That helped me understand it a little bit. But it's, yeah. Okay, I know. You want to go. Hang on. Uh, one more thing. Kevin. No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let me see. Oh, I talked about that. Uh, 
John Hall, right? His book is awesome. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was so helpful. So helpful. Yeah, I guess that was it. We covered everything, hey? Yeah, I think so. Well, we could definitely do another one, though. Yeah, that'd be fun. Because there's okay. so much more to talk about. So depending on how, you know, how far you want to go with this, how much, maybe some audience feedback would be helpful. Yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna have a whole bunch of people saying um, all kinds of stuff. So, um, but you want to tell everybody your channel? Oh yes, I do. Thank you for asking. Um, my channel is Sherry's Simple Summaries. It's on YouTube, and basically on there I summarize books written by um, by authors that explain advanced satellite based technology. I reviewed a book by Dr. John Hall, and it explains much of what Kevin and I were just talking about. Uh, he is, has wonderful experience. He is also a targeted individual, and uh, he has had he has had some experiences, and he has some knowledge to share. He breaks down the whole program, what remote neural monitoring is, who, why, where, when, how. Um, it's worth your time, especially if you uh, if you want to help yourself with this with this knowledge of it. So, so yeah, check it out. Also, you can check out my Facebook, Sherry Vibe with me. Um, there's a lot of general information about mind control. Uh, I try to do a different topic every day of the week. Uh, Mondays, I do mind control. So I talk about, you know, different uh, methods of it, so, you know, psychological and actually the technology used. On Tuesdays, I just talk about technology. Wednesdays, media stuff. And uh, Thursdays, <laughs> media. I gotta love it. So that's it. I don't know. Check it out. Yeah. Um, like it. It's really I'll link everything in the description and then I'll feature your channel um, as the as one of the featured channels on on my homepage on my channel, so we could do that. And um, I'm really glad you came on. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. I'm really glad you had me. I finally got to meet the person behind the podcast. You know, I watched you <laughs> through the <laughs> It's interesting, right? Like, wow, we connected this internet thing, this advanced satellite based technology is helpful too, right? Yeah, it's helpful too. So you know, depending on how mm -hmm. you use it, but um, you know, we're gonna get the word out there. So. Um, I appreciate you coming on. I hope you'll come on again. Everybody, Sherry from Wisconsin. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Do your research. God loves you. Yeah, man.